Let's do this. Oh, good morning. This is Black Mill. I'm just off to meet my mate. He's just got a a new bike. It's uh, it's only a, one of those little Yamaha. Is it a DSL or something or DLS or one two five? He's only just started riding at the grand old age of about 153. Better late than never. So I'm off to meet him now and uh, wait for this van. My God. I know how the Missenden Flyer feels now. The white vans everywhere. We shall um, go for a small ride. It's not going to be very long. This, this video, I, I expect, won't be that, uh, that in depth or anything. It's actually the second time I've been out uh, this year. Um, I went out last week or the week before and uh, went on quite a good ride, about 120 miles with Tim and, and Rob. And uh, as per usual, Tim the Pathfinder, he took me on roads that I've never been on before, up over mountains and things like that. Really good, really good. I couldn't wait to get home uh, to see the footage. And. Um, and lo and behold, when I got back, error on SD card. I have no idea why, other than the fact that I, I formatted it on the computer and not on the GoPro. So I don't know if that was the reason or what. And I, I just hope that this one is working. So uh, anyway, you know, we're, we're off to Black Mill petrol station. I've just fueled up in Sainsbury's. 157.9 for a litre. Yeah, a small price to pay really for um, if they're blaming it on the Ukraine conflict. Not Ukraine's fault, obviously. So it's a small price to pay, really, in my view, anyway, um, if the petrol prices go up. You know, imagine coming home to your house and you've got no house. It's been bombed out by, the, by Putin. Anyway, we'll try and be a little bit more positive and uh, hope that this war will stop very soon. It's breaking my heart, it really is. So uh, anyway, back to the bike. Um, I'm going to meet um, Heffern now, it's, um, and we'll just go for a little ride up over the bulk back to Port Talbot, have a coffee at Porth Call, and then uh, that would be it really. So nothing too exciting, I'm afraid, guys, other than I'm excited because it's my first video of the year. Oh, that's for sale, that house. I, I saw that on Right Move. Yeah, tasty three hundred thousand pounds. That's quite a lot of uh, a lot of house for the money, really, compared to uh, to some places. Oh, look, see, TMF was right. White vans can't do without them, mind. So here we are, the Black Mill, and this is the petrol station. I'm 10 minutes early so I don't know if he'll be here yet or not. Ah, there he is over there. <laughs> Complete with his learner plates on. Yo! Oh. If I can just get parked in here next to him. Ah, oh, hang on. I'm misting up here. Yeah. I'm misting up on the visor, so this is my mate Affen, who has only just started to go biking. How's that go? With my glasses and the visor. Uh, I know. Anyway, catch you in a bit. So now we're heading up to um, uh, Nanty Moyle after having a quick chat with Heffern. I just thought I'd show you this again. I know, I know, this is a trouble, isn't it? You've seen it before. 
but uh, it's quite nice. The sun might be coming out. It doesn't look too bad. It's bits of blue up there, so as long as it doesn't rain, it should be cool. Well, it certainly is cool, but uh, yeah, look, dead center of um, wherever we are at the moment. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, just come out of the little village there and uh, off to um, off up that mountain there, which is the bulk oh, uh, cattle grid. This is where. Uh, I actually start to enjoy the ride, you know, I mean, who, who wouldn't enjoy this, eh? Look at it, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm still getting my awful pins and needles in my, in my hands, especially the throttle hand. Ah, but there you are. Yeah, so I was quite gutted actually that, um, you know, I, I, I didn't get to film everything, anything. Well, you know, I couldn't post anything on YouTube. And I really, really hope that this one is going to be okay. So, uh, we shall see, we shall see, eh? Hello, sheepies! Meh, <laughs> meh. <laughs> That's uh, really nice. A farmer with a collie dog on the back of it. This is one thing in Wales, you do seem to see plenty of sheep. And of course, uh, Plenty of sheep and then uh, plenty of hairpin bends like that. And then you can just open it up. Oh. How lovely is that? I have to remember heaven's behind me on a 125. It's a no going silly, really. Oh God, I must say it feels good. It just feels so nice to be out on this beast of a bike. The only thing I don't like with this bike is the color. I'm not keen on the matte black. It shows up, um, it shows up all the dirt and dust and all that far too much to be honest. And the other thing is, I've actually had this bike now, right down the valley there, I've had this bike for five years this month. I think it's the 22nd I had it, of March last year, uh, sorry, five years ago. All right, we're gonna have a cup of tea here if he does it. Let's have a look now. We'll have a look and see. Uh, I'll, I'll just ask him if he does tea. If he doesn't, we'll go. And uh, you can't beat this for a view, can you? Huh? You can't beat this for a view. Beautiful. I'll ask him if he does tea and uh, we'll see. Hello. I know you're an ice cream van, but do you do tea? Coffee, chocolate, Brilliant. I'll park this up.
Hello sheepies. Um, just before we have a cup of tea, I don't know if you can see down there, there's a car down there. It's been down there for oh, more than a year. I guess it would stay there forever more. Somebody's pushed it off there, probably a Nick car I expect. But what a view. Catch you later. Oh, you really feel on top of the world here, didn't you, eh? So we just had a quick cup of tea at the bulk and uh, very nice it was too. A bit of a chat to the guy about um, in the uh, in the tea machine thing, you know, van. Bit of a chat to him about uh, about the uh, state of the world. Just hope it doesn't get any worse. We're off now down to, um, well, Port Talbot basically, but it's quite a scenic route. Going past a place called Abergwynvi and uh, down to Avanargoid. These roads here, aren't they good? You have to be fair, they are. Uh, they are monstrous. I'm taking it easy for two reasons. Number one, I'm not any sort of Valentino Rossi. And number two, look, uh, behind me is Effen on his 125. And he's uh, he's a bit of a new new rider, so he's obviously taking it easy. Better safe than sorry, I think. Isn't it beautiful, eh? There's a mad cyclist coming up here. I can't tell you how, how steep the road is here, but it is, you know, it, it is fairly steep and more than the steepness is the length of it it's very long you know it's uh it's a long way down to sea level which is where we are going eventually so i had to mot the bike again it uh well it didn't fail because i asked them to look it over first before the mot it and uh, I got, a, I had another fork seal go, the same as I had a, a few years ago in 2019, when the bike was only two years old. The offside fork, the seal blew then, and it was uh, it was leaking quite badly. And this time there was a small leak on the same side. I wasn't really impressed with that. So they've done it again and they put I got all new brake pads. Which I could have done myself to be honest. I don't think brake pads are very difficult to fit. But anyway, they've done that together with an oil change. And I'm ready now for the summer which is a cracking. This is Abba Gwynvia. It's, uh, it's a lovely little place set in the mountains, but there's nothing here. <laughs> that was it. That was Abba Gwynvia. There's a bit of it over here as well. Like, so plenty of people living here. That's... Um, there we are, Abergwynvy. It's an old mining community. Of course, this area was a big, big mining uh, area back in the day, up until the 80s, really. Hard to believe now, is hardly a, a sign of it anymore. Anyway, so uh, the bike is all set for the, you know, for the tremendous heat wave that we're going to have in the summer. 
hopefully. And I believe that in September, we're, uh, me, Rob, uh, Tim, I think, Phil and Ian, are all going up to Bonnie Scotland again for, um, for a week away, so I can't wait for that. It should be, uh, should be cool. You know, when the sun hits you here, it is actually quite warm. You know, I can feel that on my, my left side. The sun is coming down. But as soon as you get in the shade, it's like, ah, God, it's cold. Well, welcome to a very sunny Port Talbot. Beautiful Port Talbot, eh? So uh, I've asked Heffern to go in front because although I'm local and I'm okay, you know, I'm not absolutely sure of how to get to uh, Margam, which is where we're going next. Uh, not using the motorway. Oh, here we are. I think we just basically follow the, the road here. But I thought I'd ask uh, Heffern to go in front and um, so that's why he's actually in front. Ah, oh, look at this weather. Isn't it, isn't it so much nicer when the uh, big old church uh, when the when the sun comes out, eh? Feels so good. Tie back. Port of uh, tie back. Port of, uh, part of uh, Port Talbot. So what we're, we're actually doing is, bloody hell, that, I felt that bump. What we're actually doing is going to go to Porthcall via Margam and all that. And uh, we're just going to have a cup of tea and then head off home. So uh, the purpose of this video is twofold. One, it gets me out of the house. And two, I just want to make sure that uh, everything is working properly as it should with uh, with my setup. And uh, I can actually post another interesting video. The years keep slipping by on this road. There's a story I recall that I 